they will be punished. All right, so let's start to our first part. Article. A, uh, we don't need textbooks, so please close your book. Okay, we just listen to the CDs and I will ask you a few questions and if you answer the right one, your team will get one score. So please raise your hand quickly, okay? It's a competition. Okay, the first question is, how many countries did the writer mention in the first paragraph? Remember it, okay? Two A, the enigma of beauty. The search for beauty spans centuries and continents. Paintings of Egyptians dating back over 4,000 years show both men and women painting their nails and wearing makeup. On the other side of the globe, the ancient Maya of Central America considered crossed eyes beautiful and hung little balls between children's eyes to develop this look. In 18th century France, Wealthy noblemen wore large wigs of long white hair to make themselves attractive. In cultures throughout the world, people have gone to extreme lengths to achieve the goal of beauty. Okay. Anyone know the, anyone know the answer? Oh, I count one, two, three. Okay. One, two. <laughs> one, two, three. You. Three countries. Okay, can you say? French. <laughs> Egypt. Yeah. And uh, French. 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 And ancient Maya. Yeah, you're correct. Which king you belong? Uh, nine. Nine. Yay, yeah, you went the right one. Okay, you get one score. Okay, let's move on to our second question. What are the aspects that one out of three customers would like to spend money on? Uh, just, just listen to it, okay? Today, people continue to devote a lot of time and money on their appearance. According to a recent report by the Nielsen Company, a global information and marketing corporation, one out of three consumers globally see they are spending more money today on beauty and healthcare products than ever before. Worldwide, sales of makeup, dieting, hair and skincare products, as well as gym memberships and cosmetic surgery, generate billions of dollars every year. And there is at least one... Okay. Anyone know the answer? Or I just replied it again? Okay, you. Uh, the new product. And uh, there are two to be attractive. We generate billions of dollars every year. And there is at least one good reason for the desire to be attractive. Beauty is power. 
Studies suggest that good-looking people make more money. Yeah. Okay. Anyone know the answer? I count one, two, three. One, two, three. You. called on more often in class and are perceived as friendlier. But what exactly is beauty? Trying to define it is difficult, and yet we know it when we see it, or so we think. Beauty is health, says one psychologist. It's a billboard saying, I'm healthy, I can pass on your genes. And our awareness of it may start at a very early age. In one set of studies, six-month-old babies were shown a series of photographs. The faces in the pictures have been rated for attractiveness by a group of college students. In the studies, the babies spent more time looking at the attractive faces than the unattractive ones. Okay, next I will ask two questions. Question number four. What kind of woman is attractive to men? And uh, five... Question number five, what kind of man is more attractive to women? Is it clear? Okay, I will just play the CD. The idea that even babies judge appearance makes perfect sense to many researchers. In studies done by psychologists such as Victor Johnston at New Mexico State University and David Parrott at St. Andrews University in Scotland, men regularly showed a preference for women with certain features larger eyes, fuller lips, and a smaller nose and chin. Another study suggests that women prefer men with large shoulders and a narrow waist. According to scientists, the mind unconsciously tells men and women that these traits, the full lips, clear skin, strong shoulders, equal health and genetic well-being. All right, anyone know the answer for the question number four? I count one, two, three, okay? One, two, three. <laughs> Just only one. Okay. Four lips and uh, clean skin. Little chin. It's a fundamental part of human nature to look for these qualities. 